They took away the indemnification of our police officers. If the mayor wants to defund the police, let him get rid, let him get rid of his security detail first. If the city council, if the city council wants to get rid of indemnification, let them get rid of their indemnification first. We know that every day they strap on that vest, they strap on about 30 pounds of gear, and they go to work to protect us. And now we're here to show them that we got their back. How the hell do you expect these human beings that stepped up to the plate to protect us and keep the balance, keep the civility, to do their job when they are handcuffed? How do you handcuff the guy or girl who's supposed to handcuff the effing criminals? It's mind-boggling. Uh, the clown that's up in Albany has his state going to shambles. They ruined the city. You can't say they're not going to ruin the city. They already ruined the city. Chances of the city coming back with these two people in office is slim to none, so the people better wake up. You don't hear this word a lot with the government, but I'm changing the tune from defund the police to refund the police. That's what we're going to do. And the class of cops that was supposed to come in, they're coming in. Send your angels upon us, O oh Lord, and protect us from the evil of this world. Protect the police department, Lord God, and each person that's working for the police department and in law enforcement. Just surround them, Lord God, and just protect them from the evil that surrounds us. And he said, this is BS, and we need to do something about it. Every time. This city, this mayor, and the city council members are constantly putting the police department over here and putting the criminals over here. And it's no secret that all communities throughout the city are suffering from the criminal activity. And it's disgusting. It is absurd. And we're not here anti-anything. We're not anti-BLM. No. This is just about supporting the police in our community. This is the biggest city in the world. And we have the greatest police department who is, it's, it's like, look what happened in Portland and Seattle. When you, when you handcuff the police department, the criminals run the effing asylum. And this community is fed up with it. Do it again, Mr. We definitely need them to back us because if we don't have them, you know, who, then who do we have? You know, so I'm really behind the police okay. department, and I, I believe we all have to take a stand now. And if we don't take a stand, maybe later on, it's going to be too late. So I take a stand in the name of Jesus Christ. He's my Savior. He's my Lord, and He's the one that's going to pull us through this uh, storm that we're going through now. Yeah. <laughs>